Hey, this is Paolo from the NB Academy and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to remake the Riz from the track Ver Claw by Cove. So this is the original track and this is the sound we're gonna be making. But before you get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any of your future videos and to support us to bring you more free content. Also, if you want to get this preset and the project file, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initialized serum, but first I gotta show you all the notes and how we're gonna sequence this bass line. First, let's just increase our range of the pitch bend wheel to 12. And now let's go take a look at the piano roll. So these are the notes that we're gonna be playing. And on a few of these notes, we got to create a pitch bend. So let me show you how that automation looks like. So the first thing you need to do is to click on the pitch bend wheel to automate it inside of Ableton. If you're using a different DAW, there should be a method just to automate any knob in your synth. And then you got to create a curve like this. So in the first half of the first note, there's a pitch bend going up 12 semitones like that. And then on the second note, there's this curve that goes up, it gets sustained and then goes down. And here we have an octave. And that is the whole pitch bend automation. Cool. So now let's go back into Serum and let's build the patch. So now we have this. The key for the sound is to have a sine wave and a soul wave. Let's detune this saw with a little bit. And so if I only play a sustain note here, you will notice there is some phase cancellation. If I reset this, it's just sustained. But if I detune it a little bit, you get that rhythmic phase cancellation. So let's bring it to the octave that we should be playing. And as you can see here in the meter, we still have that movement, but much more slower. Now let's add some noise. And now let's go into the effects. And here in the effects, since this sound is super clean in terms of distortion on the highs, we can't just drive the tube distortion like this. It's a bit too dirty. So what we need to do is to, to select the sign shaper. And that is even more dirty, but let's bring it down. That's a bit better. But now we gotta filter this. So we're gonna turn on the pre mode and then set it to a band pass. And let's bring it down. Let's bring it to 160. 68. Bring the Q down. Let's just turn on the mono to make sure we're only playing one note at a time. There you go. Let's turn on the compressor, set our multivan, increase the gain, and the release. Awesome. Now let's add a phaser below the multivan compressor. We're gonna bring the rate down, the depth down. So that way the, the phaser stays in the same place. Now let's bring the frequency down. Kinda sounds like an amp. And now let's bring the mix down. Next. Cool. Next we're going to add a filter. We're going to boost the cutoff a little bit. This is just to reduce a lot of the highs. This is just to reduce the very, very highs. Next we're going to add a chorus after the filter. And we're going to keep it as it is. Nice. Now let's jump into some pulse processing. So the first thing that I added for pulse processing was this EQ. Now it's very important for you to not take this as a mixing EQ. This is more of a sound design EQ, which is helping us to boost some specific harmonics. In this case, I boosted the fundamental and a bit of the mids. So without it, now with it. 
Now the next thing that I added was a filter and now this filter is just used to cut the sound in very specific places. For example, in this note, we have that plucky feel. And it's used just to add the rhythm into the sound. But even like that, after I needed a layer that added a transient like this one. But we'll get into that later. So the next thing that I added was an OTT. It's just to heavily compress the sound and bring the highs a little bit higher. The next thing in the chain is just some EQ. And that is actually it for the chain. Now, to make this final layer, which is the transient one, what you need to do is to duplicate this Reese, let's deactivate this channel, and then you need to turn off all of these effects, like this, go back into the patch, and now on the patch, we are going to distort it a bit more, Try to get more highs. There you go. And now we're gonna map an LFO on the cutoff of the filter, like this. Cool. Then we're gonna set our envelope and create a shape like this. There you go. You can always do extra stuff, for example, mapping a different LFO into the master tuning make it really high and then make a really short falling shape like this, set it on envelope, make sure it's unipolar right here, and that is a very heavy transient. Cool, and now the next thing you need to do is to select in which nodes do you want this transient. For example, you can delete all of this so it doesn't get sustained, here, 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 and maybe also on this note. So now we should have only a transient on the beginning of each note. Now if we play this with our other layer, cool, and now you can select which ones do you want to have the transient. In this case, why I, what I did was I actually added an extra one here and I didn't have this too. And also, I didn't have this last one. So, let's just delete this layer. And I'll display our final result. Awesome. So that is going to be it for the sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel. Hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want this preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So, Thank you so much for watching, hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.